Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison with the Starbucks Holiday Blend and the Green Mountain Holiday Blend. Both of these are medium rows. So I cut both each one of the K-Cups open. The Starbucks does look a little darker than the Green Mountain. So today I'll be using the Keurig K-Supreme Plus Smart Coffee Maker and the Ninja Dual Brew Pro. We're going to brew them on 8 ounces. Okay, so here we have the two brews. Okay, so I've tasted the, the Starbucks. It definitely has maybe just a hint of a sweetness to it. It definitely tastes kind of like a medium to dark roast. Um, definitely an earthy taste to it, kind of an earthy nutty taste to it. Now the Holiday Blend for the Green Mountain, um, there is just a hint of a spice to it and maybe just a little bit of a sweetness to it, not much. But it also kind of has that earthy, um, nutty flavor i was expecting more of an overall uh, like a huge taste difference or even a taste like the holiday bloom was going to be a completely different taste than like a normal cup of coffee but i didn't get that sense so the holiday blend says it's got herbal and sweet and maple notes so that may be where that that earthy nutty flavor was coming from and the green mountain says it's flavors of dark fruit, caramel, chocolate, with just a hint of spice. So yeah, I might have tasted that just that hint of chocolate, but I definitely got tasted that hint of spice. So to be honest with you, I was expecting kind of a huge difference for like a holiday blend, but these are pretty basic coffees. You're, you're not, it's not going to be a huge uh, difference from just like a normal coffee. I guess I was just coming off of uh, Thanksgiving and, and fall where you got the pumpkin spice which is a completely different coffee and sort of thing so i don't you don't get that sense with these there's not a huge overpowering um flavor in it thanks everybody for watching